was one of the best videos we did, you know. Oh, it was awesome. At that very point, we were in Crappers Creek, really. Absolutely shit. Yeah. But we got through it. Yeah, we did. Now, I think for this winter, I was thinking about doing a little, uh, maybe clean up the bikes in the winter at night. Service, oil change, things like that. Do you like a maintenance thing? Yeah, I think so. What, take them off the road for a while? And take them off the road, do some oil, filter, lube up the chains. The chains like need to work, eh? Well, no, I had something straight out crazy out the box. <laughs> out of the box? <laughs> oh, no, oh, hear me out. We've often talked about getting, like, scrambler bikes. All type of motocross bikes. Like dirt or, bikes. Dirt bikes. Go down the river on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. What about some old classic bikes, maybe? Well, they're what classics. Different. I'm talking, like, um, 1980s, XR200s. Mm -hmm. But what about, what about something in the 70s? Something really old school. 70s classic road bikes, not dirt bikes. You know, barn find type things, do it up. We'd have to find some, of course. I had a 70s bike once. Did you? It was actually quite cool. I rode a 70s bike to my lawnmower job. So I'm thinking old school 70s Japanese bikes. I think it'd be better than dirt bikes. I really do. I mean, we'll just have a look around. I'm sure we'll find something not too priced, not too badly priced. They're gaining in value. They are. The 70s I've, I've bikes. just got my heart set on doing up an old 70s bike. I really have. Just we'll have a so little nosy and trade me. Do and one or one each? One each. And then so I think what we'll do is we'll go out and pick our own bike, and yeah, then we'll I'll tell each other. Oh, I thought we'd film it together. No, no, no. You know, go and see people's bikes and hang, hang no, on no, down. No, no, Let, Let's make it a surprise. Like, like I'll, go and find, I'll go and find a 70s bike, you go find a 70s bike, and not tell each other. And then we'll just turn up on it. And then we do them up together. So our mission is what you're saying, is we've got to go and find some 1970s yep. Japanese. Early 70s Japanese motorcycles. I think I've got one in mind. If I can find one, I have two, but I'm not going to tell you. Have you? Yeah. Well, good morning. Um, and today's the day that we get our restoration bikes here. Um, now, Jason and I have absolutely committed to this and not told each other at all what bikes we're getting to uh, to do up. So, um, Jason's here. He's just texted me to say he's just on its way. He's virtually here now. I can hear something coming now. Oh no, here it comes. Oh, it's a small one. What the hell is this? It looks like it's a Honda. I think it's a. I don't, is it a hundred? Is it a? Is it a hundred or is it one seven five one? It's a one two five. It's a one two five Honda. Look at that. What year is it? Nineteen seventy two. Nineteen seventy two. Wow. And why did you why did you pick this particular one? What's out of all the bikes? <laughs> this is this is this is crazy. This is just amazing. Why did you pick this one? Well, hold on, I'll just get my helmet off. Yeah, sure. Hello. Uh, hello, hello. <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, how did the ride go? <laughs> it was, it's an experience. I tell you, I bet you it is. It's look, unbelievable. Look at that. It's amazing. We're going to be doing some some work with it, obviously. But, wow. I love the colour. It's purple. The story with this, I, I rode one of these when I was 16 years old, going to do my lawn mowing job. Um, you rode one? Um, rode... Like, the exact model, or... Exactly the same as this. Same CC. But uh, I've got something more exciting to talk, uh, tell you about. This is the bike that I rode when I was 16 years old. This is it. This has been in storage under a blankie in the back of a shed for all those years. You never told me about it. I know. I kept it a bit of a secret. I've brought it out. So this is. So what you're saying is this is your actual this bike. This is my actual bike. Not the same as. Not the same as. This is. The Holy one. hell! I really? Know, 1972. Man. On the CB125. Man, that would give you some bloody memories, wouldn't it? Oh, it's unbelievable. Fantastic. But we've got a lot of work to do. A lot of work. Yep. And uh, well, well, we'll get on with it, and uh, we'll talk soon. <laughs> okay, welcome back. Um, it's been about an hour since I turned up on my uh, CB125. 
Rod's ju just gone off to go in and get his uh, surprise bike, which um, I'm really excited about seeing what it is. Uh, it was 70s, we agreed on 70s. Oh, I hear something now, hold on a minute. Oh, here he comes. Oh, what? What is this? What is it? A Honda? It's a Honda. What on earth is this? It's a Honda two cylinder. There we go. What is this bike? <laughs> Hold on, I'll just, I'll just go around the bike. You have a look at that. What is it? It's a Honda... It's a CB360. CB360. Wow. 1975. 19... So we've got a 75, a 72. Yep. This thing is awesome. Now I need to tell you a bit about this. Okay. Alright, so... tell me the story. So, when I was 16... Oh, another 16 year old story. Yep. When I was 16, I had the CB360. Is this dual... Is yep. this the bike? Well, not quite. It's it's the same as. Oh, I, I couldn't oh. I couldn't I couldn't find my original. I'm sorry about that. Um, I, but I have got the actual year right, and I've got the model right. Wow. So it, look, it's going to need a bit of work. I mean, it's got some interesting exhaust pipes on it. Well, yeah, but look at this guards. They are all shiny already. It comes oh, with the tank covers, needs a bit of work. Yeah, and yeah. It comes with the original handlebars. I don't know what's going on here at the moment. Yeah, the I don't like mirrors, those mirrors, but, but we'll get rid of those. Um, but I think this is a project, Jace. It's an unbelievable project. Wow. So you found this. This is incredible. Yep. So we've got a couple of classics. Awesome.